In the quiet tranquility of a serene landscape, a story begins to unfold. This is a tale of a soul, a character adrift in the monotony of everyday existence. Day after day, the same routine, the same patterns, the same lack of fulfillment. The world turns, but for them it feels as if they are standing still. They yearn for something more, something that eludes them, something beyond the horizon of their daily grind. It's a dream, a whisper of a different life. It's a life that's vibrant, radiant, and full of promise, a life where they're not just surviving, but truly living. Yet they feel trapped, shackled by their circumstances. The walls around them seem impenetrable, their dreams just out of reach. The world can be a daunting place, a labyrinth of challenges and disappointments. But even in the midst of their despair, a spark of hope flickers within. In the depth of despair, a glimmer of hope begins to shine. The calm is disrupted as the storm of life begins to brew. In this tumultuous sea of existence, the character finds themselves flung into the heart of the storm. A series of obstacles emerge, each one more daunting than the last. These hurdles appear insurmountable, threatening to overwhelm and crush the spirit of our protagonist. Imagine, if you will, a towering wall of adversity, seemingly impossible to overcome. Yet this is the trial that life presents, an unyielding test of strength and character. The character stands before this wall, a symbol of their struggles, their fears, and their doubts. It looms large, casting a shadow over their hopes and dreams. But the character does not falter. They do not crumble under the weight of their trials. Instead, they muster their courage. They gather their strength. They approach their challenge head on, ready to face whatever awaits them. They struggle, they falter, they stumble. They are knocked down, but they refuse to stay down. They rise again and again, demonstrating a resilience that is nothing short of inspiring. Their determination is a beacon, a shining light in the darkest corners of their struggle. Through every fall, through every setback, they push forward. Their strength does not wane, their spirit does not falter. They are the embodiment of relentless perseverance, of unwavering resolve. And with each struggle, with each fall and rise, they grow. They learn, they adapt, they become stronger, they become wiser. The character learns to see these obstacles not as roadblocks, but as stepping stones. Each challenge they face, each hurdle they overcome, becomes a stepping stone to greater heights. Through their journey, they learn a powerful lesson. They come to realize that the greatest challenges in life are not meant to break us, but to make us. They are meant to shape us, to mold us into stronger, better versions of ourselves. In the end, the character stands tall, stronger, and wiser for their struggles. They look back at the path they've tread, at the obstacles they've overcome, and they smile. For they know that each challenge faced is but a stepping stone to greater heights. In the face of adversity, the true strength of a person is revealed. This is the moment where our character, confronted by life's relentless challenges, makes a choice. A choice to surrender or to stand tall and fight. It's in this choice we see the power of perseverance. Imagine for a moment a ship in the middle of a storm. The waves crash vehemently against its sides. The wind howls, threatening to tear the sails apart. But the ship, though battered and worn, continues to sail forward. It doesn't deny the storm. It acknowledges its existence, but it refuses to be overwhelmed. It perseveres. Just like the ship, our character faces the storm head on. The challenges, the failures, the disappointments, they're all there. They're painful, they're real, but they're not enough to break the spirit of our character. In fact, they serve as a catalyst. Each challenge, each failure becomes a stepping stone, fueling the determination to push forward, to persevere. The setbacks, while initially seeming like anchors, become the wind that fills the sails, propelling our character forward on their journey. Perseverance is not about denying the existence of obstacles. It's about recognizing them, understanding them, and choosing to move forward regardless. It's about finding the courage to keep going, even when the odds seem stacked against you. It's about the tenacity to hold on to your dreams, your goals, your vision, despite the hurdles. Our character in the midst of the storm finds the strength to persevere. They find the resilience to keep going, the determination to not give up. They hold on to their vision, to their destination, with unwavering resolve. 
Perseverance is the silent, relentless force that turns dreams into reality. It's the power that transforms the impossible into the possible. It's the strength that carries us through the storm and guides us to our destination. Though the path may be strewn with obstacles, the destination remains clear. Our character, powered by perseverance, continues to sail forward, undeterred by the storm, because in the end, it's not the storm that defines us, but how we navigate it. In the darkest moments, a divine light shines through. Even when the shadows of adversity seem to consume everything, there's a glimmer of hope, a beacon of faith that guides us through the tumultuous waters. It's at these trying times we experience a divine intervention. This divine intervention is not always a grand spectacle, but often a gentle whisper, a subtle sign that reassures us we are not alone. Our character in the midst of their struggle finds themselves at this divine crossroads, an unexpected sign, a sudden realization, a moment of clarity that brings a renewed sense of hope and strength. It's like a weary traveler lost in a desert, finding an oasis in the most unlikely place. It's a reaffirmation that they are not lost, but on a journey, a journey that is guided by a force greater than them. This divine intervention is the proof of a presence, a divine presence that accompanies us in our struggles and cheers us on our path to triumph. And so our character finds solace in this divine intervention. They find the courage to pick up their fallen spirit, to dust off the worries and to soldier on. It's like the sun breaking through the dense clouds after a tempest, bringing warmth and light dispelling the gloom and making way for a glorious day. This divine intervention serves as a reminder that even in the face of the fiercest storm, there's a divine force that roots for us, that believes in us. It's a divine reminder that our struggles are not in vain, that every tear shed, every pain felt is not without purpose. It's a testament to the fact that we are a part of a grand design, a divine plan that unfolds with every step we take. So. When the road gets tough and the journey seems unbearable, remember this divine intervention. Remember that you are not alone, that you are loved, that you are guided. Let this divine intervention be the fuel that powers your perseverance, that sparks your courage and that lights your path towards triumph. In the deepest valleys, we find the greatest strength. The spirit, once broken, now stands tall and unyielding. It's like a phoenix rising from the ashes of despair and defeat reborn with strength and wisdom that can only be earned through hardship. It's not about the obstacles we face, but how we rise above them, how we push through the pain and the struggle, how we refuse to surrender. You see, the spirit is not just a mere wisp of existence. It's a force, a power, a beacon of light in the darkest of times. It's the flame that fuels our resolve, the wind that pushes us forward, the compass that guides us when we lose our way. And when the spirit triumphs, it's not just a victory over the adversities we face, it's a victory over ourselves, over our doubts, our fears, our limitations. Think of it as a journey, a voyage through the tempest of life. There are times when the winds howl, when the waves crash, when the storm seems relentless. But it's in these moments, these trials and tribulations, that we discover the true strength of our spirit. We learn how to navigate, how to weather the storm, how to keep our ship afloat even when the odds are against us. And when we finally emerge from the storm, we're not the same. We're stronger, wiser, more resilient. We understand the value of perseverance, the importance of holding on even when it's easier to let go. We understand that the spirit, no matter how battered or bruined, can never be broken. It can bend, it can waver, but it will always rise again. So remember, no matter how tough the journey, no matter how insurmountable the challenge, the spirit is always capable of triumph it's capable of rising, of soaring, of embodying the true essence of never giving up. Because the spirit, once ignited, can never be extinguished. It's a flame that burns bright, a beacon that shines in the darkest of nights. Through the storm, the spirit soars, embodying the true essence of never giving up. As the storm subsides, a new day dawns, bringing with it a sense of peace and accomplishment. The journey has been arduous, the climb steep, yet standing on the other side of struggle, there's a clarity that wasn't there before. The character, our protagonist, takes a moment to reflect. Each challenge faced, each hurdle overcome has left an indelible mark upon their spirit. They've come to recognize the strength within themselves, fueled by an unwavering faith and an ironclad determination. Struggles, they realized, were not impediments, but stepping stones, 
indispensable for their growth. The hardships they faced were not meant to break them, but to forge them into a stronger, more resilient version of themselves. They understand now that their faith was their guiding light, their beacon in the storm leading them onwards. And so the story ends, not with a whimper, but with a triumphant roar. Remember, never give up, for God is with you every step of the way.